let's go ahead and talk about AI art. It's something that I'm seeing a lot of artists freak out about. So do you, if you don't know what they are, it's essentially you go, you can use an app or a program on the internet and you put in certain keywords like I want a sea turtle with roses and this and that and whatever elements. And then the AI steals essentially photos from from all over the place and combines them into its own painting. Artists are freaking out that it's going to put them out of business and they're going to lose money and there's a lot of there are things I don't like about it. I don't think it's as detrimental to our industry as what a lot of people are making it out to be. Here's the thing. The thing I don't like about it is that they're violating copyright. They may take my paintings. They're just pulling random stuff off the internet. That's my main issue with the AI stuff. The people who are worried, I've heard stories of somebody wrote a book, a children's book, and they just used AI over the weekend and they didn't have to then hire an artist. They weren't going to hire an artist anyway. Let's be realistic. The person who's going to use AI art, and I'm going to show you some samples in just a moment here. The people who are going to use AI art in a book, in anything else, they were not going to hire a real artist. There is a huge difference in the value you get from artwork created by an artist and from the AI. So let's take a look at some of this. So let's start with my sea turtle. This is one I did recently in colored pencil. Sea turtle, we've got a bird on there. We've got roses. I've got anthias. I've got bees. I've got honeycomb. I actually went and did, me and two of my friends were using different AI programs and because some of them are better than others for sure. And I do think that AI will get to a point where it's better than it is now. It's not so, it's not what people think it is. So I typed in roses, obviously. Uh, what else did I type in there? Fish, ocean. I don't know. We typed in a few different things trying to get better results. This was probably the best one. So I don't want to make it sound like everything was absolutely terrible. However, the computer has a really hard time understanding how many legs a turtle has or how many legs a lion has, how many legs anything has. It is the most bizarre crap you will come up with with this AI-generated art. It's Things are very deformed, and you'll see some of that coming up. But in this case, like, okay, the idea, you've got roses, you've got turtle. Why are there 800 legs on a turtle? There's very, mm, not cute. So there's that. Here's another one. Same prompts with the sea turtle roses and the same thing. We have all these weird legs. So this is when you see people freaking out about that it, we're going to lose money as artists and it's going to take our jobs. I'm not afraid. Like this doesn't concern me right now. I'm not saying it won't get to the point where it's amazing, but I'm, we're going to come back into that. I'm going to show you some more sample. That, that one was probably the closest. We had to type in roses on a turtle shell with bees, and that one was kind of, but again, you're not talking about something that's comparable. Like somebody who would buy that as a paint, like they want to hang that in their wall, is not the person who's going to buy mine it's just not the same. So I don't think it's something to fear as much as that one's kind of better. But again, we've got legs where legs don't go. It's just bizarre on some of those. Some of these, some of the, the, the programs are a lot better. I think that was the one my friend has is in beta on. It's not released. It's actually one of the better programs, but it's still not, I'm not worried. This one we typed in so it would look like colored pencil. I'm not afraid. Again, very like they're they're more creepy than good. Um, let's see, that one's okay, I guess. Uh, not afraid. Still not afraid. Why is there a fin on the shell? Like how? I don't understand how you would think the computers, when if they're supposed to be so good at this and people are so afraid, this is what you get. So yeah. Okay, and we're using the same prompts for most of these. Again, fins. Why are there fins all in the weirdest location? Flamingo with octopus. Flamingo standing in water with octopus in water. Flamingo standing in the ocean. We used so many prompts trying to get anything that could compete with mine. Nothing even close. I mean, they were just... I don't know what that one is. Again, we cut, a lot of these are very creepy. This is the app that my friend has, and it's able to make it look better than some of the other ones, but it's still, it's more creepy than, 
than good. We actually had fun. Yeah, we were laughing. This was just funny to to see what it was doing. But it's also funny because seeing how many artists are kind of having meltdowns of it's the end of the world. It's the end of our industry. People aren't hiring artists anymore. They weren't going to hire you. If they're okay, if somebody is okay with that, that person was not going to hire you anyway. It's not something to be afraid of. So yeah. Next we have my, we tried the same thing with the lion with coral. And that was, we were looking at more of the surreal stuff because saying like a bird drinking out of a cup, that's a little bit easier to find. And even that tends to look creepy, but we were trying some of the more surreal stuff. So that one, I don't, I don't know. I think that one was still on the sea turtle and lion. We mixed a few different things on that one. Yeah. So did the computer. Why does the sea turtle have an arm and a lizard head? Like it's very, it's, it's, it's a thing. That one, at least it's coral. We did the lion with a coral mane. It kind of, but again, I'm not afraid. This is not competition. This is not concerning to me at all. This is interesting to me. Look at the legs. And this is very common with AI stuff. Very creepy. They're, they're more eerie than anything else. Could you use it in a book? Yeah. I'm probably not going to buy your book. Now, we are also seeing where a lot of artists are coming into our Facebook group or our MeWe group, and they're try we're trying to act actually removed a few people recently for it, kept posting AI stuff claiming it was their new painting. I can tell when it's AI. It's not hard to tell. And especially when you've got a pattern where I can see your old work and suddenly now yours has this. Look. No, it's AI. Like you do have people lying about stuff. So that is a thing. But one of the things we have, have to remember, the people who are going to buy this are not the people who are going to buy your paintings. You're not going out of business. The other thing is throughout history, every time there's some new technological advancement, people have meltdowns. It's going to ruin art. People aren't going to buy art because when the camera was invented, no one was going to buy paintings anymore because the camera, we still do paintings. Creatives are going to create. Nothing is going to stop us. If I'm not making money, I'm still going to be drawing things. I mean, that's what I do. I, it's, there's like a, a drive in us that we need to create. From the beginning of time, we've been creating things. We always will. Did the camera change the environment? Did it change things? Sure. But it doesn't necessarily mean bad or that it's going to completely go out. Now, there are some industries like lettering that people used to do on signs like on, or doors and signage and stuff. Yeah, the modern way that we do things, we did lose that. But it's not something that is so like end of the world. You're not going to make paintings of every time something new comes. So we had that. We had digital painting. That was another big one. Everyone's like, oh, there, there's not going to be any use for oils and acrylics. No one's going to use those anymore. Or when acrylics were invented, people were saying, no one's going to do oil painting anymore. You will always have, every time there's something new, people kind of have a meltdown. And in the end, it doesn't hurt. It, it didn't affect anything. Not really. So it's certainly not thing, something to really, what else was it? Oh, that was another one that, um, a lot of artists were concerned when the cheap, like mass produced stuff that they used to sell in front of grocery stores and such of cheap stuff out of China, that like just mass produced art. Well, it was going to affect art. People who are buying that art are not the people who are buying original, like from an artist art. It, it's not the same group of people. So it's really not affecting me if somebody goes and buys something cheap. Posters were a big one. Everyone thought when you got posters, they weren't going to need paintings anymore. They can just get prints. The people who are buying prints are not the same people who are going to buy the original. Like, it's a very different thing. So I'm, the point is, I just don't think anyone needs to be super concerned about this. I don't like the copyright issue, and I would like to see some legal action taken against some of these that are stealing, because they are stealing stuff from artists. That I have an issue with. But as far as, like, putting me out of business or people aren't going to hire an artist to illustrate a book anymore, the people who are, are using AI stuff weren't going to hire you. It, it, they're not the same group of people. And chances are somebody who is using AI, like I just, I have a feeling their book probably wasn't very good anyway. And that's already been happening for years. Not AI, but more Photoshop stuff. We see it all the time. There's a book I'm li listening or reading right now, not listening to that one, but it's like a dragon writing book. And the girl they used on the front doesn't look like the girl in the book. The dragon isn't even the right size. It doesn't look anything like what's described in the book. It's this weird, creepy Photoshop together from like here's some of this of a dragon and this is of a girl and we're going to change her head so it doesn't even look like it's attached right we're creepy it's not well done this was not somebody who because she was able to do it in photoshop like she didn't hire you that's not this is somebody who the book's not amazing her artwork's not nothing about it's amazing like the, her standard of quality it, i think it was a female author 
not all there. So I, I, again, not super concerned. And I'm not even like, I actually had friends that were telling me, and this is how the conversation kind of started. Why don't you use AI to get ideas for your paintings? Because my ideas are better. You saw that the sea turtle was such a good example of that. Their construction of things aren't anywhere near my level of creativity. It's a computer. There is a difference, believe it or not. Some of them, I kind of liked the color palette, maybe for that, but I didn't even see anything that of every single thing. And we tried so many prompts of different things, not just that, not even just surreal stuff. We tried so many things. There wasn't a single one that I was like, oh, I want to paint that. Not one. And I'm talking hundreds. We went through it. We were ha actually having a blast. They're fun to play with. But yeah, I just don't think that these are some this is something that any of us really need to be super concerned with other than the copyright issue that I do have problems with.